All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving a praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash. The bond to the apostles, that was a great millstone. Shalom to the elected nation of Israel. This is Ratazah from the Great Millstone GMS Atlanta Camp with another video. And this uh, video is going to be, um, you know, basically going into a couple of uh, scriptures. All right, just to hit the point and, um, Based kind of feeding off a, a previous video that I I did, all right. Um, you know, going into this guy uh, Kevin Samuels, which um, you know, everybody should know who he is by now, all right. Over pretty much almost like an overnight YouTube sensation, even though he's had he's been doing videos for a number of years, but um, a few of his uh, videos have went viral and he's you know pretty much skyrocketed to fame. You know, and a lot of people tune into this dude. You know, you look at his live stream. He has 20,000 or more people watching live. And he's answering questions regarding relationships and different things like that. And people hold this, this individual in high regards. And that's not to say he doesn't speak a lot of truth, which he does. You know, that's why a lot of, you know, brothers, or I, I won't say a lot, but some brothers, you know, tune into him. You know, I recently just been watching more of his videos and, and you know you know everything we watch and, and look at is always filtered through this truth through the the, the lens of Yahweh about Shimmy I was shy so that's why I'm doing this video and I, I'm just you know even currently you know I'm just kind of skimming through YouTube you know in this late night came across one of his videos and people hold this guy in high regard and he says a lot of the same things that we say all right, we being, you know, the Israelites, beginning with the apostles and elders, men who have, you know, pretty much laid down their life for this truth for, for decades, man. You know, um, constantly and consistently going out to the streets to preach this gospel, to preach the words of, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the Most High and His Son. And we say the same things and we're, we're you know, we're shunned, we're looked down upon, we're called stupid. You know, you're, you're a bum, get a job. You know, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, so forth and so on. But when Kevin Samuels, when he gets on camera with his microphone and his in his three piece suit and his 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 uh you know his glasses and all that, you know, with, with the uh with the haircut, he could say basically the same thing. And he's looked at as such a. They even call him the Godfather. You know that's one of his um, that's one of his names, which I have a video up here on my on my uh, on my TV. It says Godfather slaying facts. All right, and they got Kevin Samuels here talking to some woman on the interview, so he's he's even gotten the name Godfather, and he's saying the same things that we say, but the but the Israelites uh, looked at as just you know basically nothing, man, and that's according to the scriptures. I just want to read a few of these, all right? This is on the book of Sirach, chapter 13. I'm going to start at, um, you really could start, uh, you know what, I'll just, I'll just start by, by, uh, I'll start at verse 21. Right. Sirach 13, 21, a rich man beginning to fall is held up of his friends. Why? Because the friends they realize this rich man has he has the resources, he has the benefits to put them in better positions, you know, carnally. So you you know, if a rich man is down and out, you'll you'll be willing to stick by his side. It says, but a poor man being down is thrust away by his friends. Because you look at him as a liability. He's nothing. He doesn't have anything to to offer, you know, carnally or financially. So people would be more willing to, you know, basically keep keep them down. 22, it says, when a rich man is fallen, he have many helpers. He speak of things not to be spoken, and yet men justify him. See that? So even Kevin Samuels, he could say things, which I, you know, the, the, the few videos I've watched, I haven't really heard anything that's really out of pocket. But if he was to say something out of pocket... These people wouldn't say anything. They'll they'll keep it on the hush because why he got money, he got status, you know. That's the Godfather. He's you know he's the 
the relationship guru. You'll find ways to justify this dude, man. But then it says what? It says the poor man slipped. The poor man represents us, those those of on a lowly state. When it says poor man, <clears throat> doesn't necessarily mean that we're we're homeless, don't have jobs, and we're we're we're, we're you know we're browsing through the you know the, the, the trash cans in my area looking for food. No, we're poor because well, first and foremost, we're we're humble and we're lowly, and in the eyes of these people. We looked at as poor and insignificant, right? So it says the poor man slipped, and yet they rebuked him too, right? So we, you know, like we like say, man, if great if a, if a member of Great Millstone, if we burped the wrong way, I mean, it's gonna be a plethora of videos out there getting on us, man. We, you know, we basically got to be perfect in the eyes of these people. But if we, we slip in, in one way, all right, people are gonna rebuke us because why? We looked at as poor. It says he spake wisely and could have no place, right? So we're not we're not established in this world even though we speak wisely. Right? We speak the same, you know, similar not saying that you know, Kevin not giving Kevin Samuels those type of props, like he's like a prophet of the most high, or he's rooted in this truth and has the has the gospel, but as far as information regarding relationships and things like that, it you know, and, and being high it can apply to the scriptures and, and you know we we say the same similar things but it's it's um filtered through truth in the spirit of the most high so we could speak wisely but our place is not set in this world man you know now here's the point verse 23 when a rich man speaketh every man holdeth his tongue it's, it's complete silence it's you know you got 20 30,000 people on your live stream, you know, <laughs> here it is. You got a brother lucky if you get one person to view his video, which again, we have to constantly reiterate. We're not on YouTube to get views. You know, brothers are not on this thing to 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 be seen and, and to, to, you know, grow their channels, to monetize it and get that. That's not what this this truth is about. This is just about putting, first of all, doing the work of your Yahweh Shimei Shah. All right, doing what you got to do to to seal your to make your election and calling sure, and just basically doing the work. You know, it don't matter if you get one or two views, or you might have a brother that's that might get four hundred, five hundred to a thousand, which even that's still low. All right, compared to what some of these other um you know what they call them content creators on YouTube, compared to what they get, even that's low. Okay, which the most high wants it that way anyway, because it's true. It's not. It's not meant to be uh, accepted by the masses. It's only for a select few. So the views are supposed to be low. But when it says, um, when a witch, when a rich man speaketh, verse twenty three, every man hold of his tongue. Right, everybody's like, shh, everybody be quiet. Let's let's, let's hear what Kevin Samuels got to say. Let's hear what, uh, you know, whoever, one of these celebrities or whatever. Let's tune into what he got to say, because evidently he's. Smart because he got he's a millionaire or a billionaire. He drives a Bentley, and and he's on TV, so he must be he must be spiritual. Let's hear what let's hear what his monkey has got to say, man. You see, it says and look. What he saith, they extol it to the clouds, right? They blow it out of proportion, as if he said some some deep revelation. He ain't seen said a goddamn thing, man. But they but they what they extol it to the clouds. But it reading on, it says what? But if the poor man speak, which again is the essentially is the prophets, all right, beginning with the apostles, elders of, of, of GMS, those of like those who are like minded men that come up under that discipline and order and doctrine. It says they say what? What fellow is this? You know, who the hell are you? Right? It says, and if and if he stumble, they will help. Help to overthrow him So they The people are not looking to really Hear the, the truth from us They're looking to see How we could keep this nigga down And get him out And get him out the way man Cause he's what He's poor He's insignificant in our eyes He doesn't have status He doesn't rock a three piece suit With a tie He doesn't have a, a shape up <laughs> With with these uh, uh um You know with these glasses on man So we gotta get this dude up out of here even though we're saying the same exact thing, and even, even more from a, a more sincere and accurate stance, because we have the we have the Bible, we have the truth. 
got an example, all right, you go back, you probably could find it on YouTube because we know Great Millstone is um constantly, you know, we're constantly, you know, slandered and, 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 and called uh, various names because we brought out the historical fact, a historical point that in ancient times, women were married at, were married off at younger ages, all right, at 12, 13, 14, whatever years old, all right? And we brought that out just to show the parallel between ancient times and modern times. That's the only reason why that, that was even brought up, was to show the parallel between the ways of the, ways of the East in ancient times and modern-day America in, in 2020 or 2021 or whatever. But because we brought the information out, we've been deemed what they call as pedophiles, they call as rapists, and these different things. When it was just, a, it was just a his, a historical, uh, footnote or reference. But you have a video of this guy Kevin Samuels, saying the same thing. All right, that when a woman uh, passes the flower of her age, which is which when she becomes uh, basically goes to do a state of puberty. Was the transition from childhood to adulthood? She's um, basically she's uh, basically she's basically ready to give birth and be a wife. That's on video. All right, you can search it. You know, uh, certain brothers reposted the clip, but that but he said that out of his own mouth, and you do not see nobody calling this man a pedophile. He's crazy. He's bugged out. Don't follow this dude. Everybody just went with it and nodded, and nodded the goddamn head, man. But here it is. We as, as so-called um, poor men in this world, we say these things and we're, what we're, we're looked down upon. So that just goes to show you that, that these scriptures is true, man. And the scriptures are already forewarned us of how these people are going to think. Because they were thinking the same thing back, back in these times, all right, when these particular uh, words and scrolls were written down, man. All right. So, yeah, when a, when a rich man speak, he gets the credit, he gets the benefit of the doubt. People will support this dude. <clears throat> but the prophets, the real men of the Lord, who the Most High is dealing with and sent unto you. All right. You, uh, uh, um, you know, you people out there, you look down on them, man. And you ain't going to get away with that. All right. Because it's good to speak about how the slanderers should not, should not escape. All right. Those that, um, you know, those those who are false witnesses. You know, should not escape. Roughly, you know, roughly paraphrasing. You, people are not, you, people are not going to get away with just, you know, doing what you want to do to the prophets, man. Okay, you're going to have the answer for that. What comes to mind is, is um, <clears throat> Second Chronicles. Thirty-six. And um. Sixteen. Verse 15, it says, And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them uh, by his messengers. Which the messengers, the messengers were sent back then in times of old, and they sent unto you now. All right, the prophets rising up be times, meaning be times means early. All right, and sending because he had compassion on his people <clears throat> and, on his and on his dwelling place. Who's his people? You so-called blacks, Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. The fact that the Lord even has us out there on the streets, okay, on these various videos, such as this one and, and the hundreds of thousands of videos that are being uploaded daily, that's the, the Lord showing compassion on his people to actually give you a way out, to give you a, 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 a basically a spiritual lifeline to receive salvation. All right? But it says what? 16. But they... Meaning Israelites, you so-called niggas are telling Native Americans, all right? But they mocked the messengers of the Most High. You go into that word mock, it means to make, make, make sport of, to make, to make fun of, all right? To take as a joke, all right? It says, but they mocked the messengers of God or the Most High and despised his words. You despise the word, not our words, the messengers were, but the words of the Heavenly Father. Because the messenger is, is is doing just that. He's delivering the message. All right. We basically like this spiritual uh uh um postal service, man. All right. We we're basically just giving you the giving you the envelope with the message. We didn't 
technically write it or, or say it. We, we're giving you what the sender said, man, which is who? The Most High. But what? You despise his words. It says, and misused his prophets. See? Until the wrath of the Lord Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy, right? So the prophets are being misused in this time by the masses of you Israelites. But there's a remnant that has, you know, been chosen and the most has opened their understanding to see that these are the men that have the truth. And I need to listen to them because this is the most high, the God of the God of the, the God, God almighty, so to speak, is speaking through these individuals, man. <clears throat> All right. So that's only for a select few. But the but the by and large, the masses. All right. Which is two thirds, which is the majority rejected the truth and misused the prophets. All right. Until what? To the wrath of the Lord came, man. All right. And I just, you know, brothers just put a video in the group <clears throat> of these uh different military troops. All right. These American troops, they they they're going to start getting down on you people, man. Because there's going to be more uprisings, more uproars. And the so-called white man is going to start locking these cities down, these towns down. All right. He's going to start drawing, drawing uh, guns on you, telling you to get down, get into this van. You know, so we can haul your monkey ass off to a concentration camp. This, this, these are the times that we're coming into where Jake is out here playing games and worried about image. You know, with the scripture tell you, the Lord dealt with the with the feeble of the world, the weak. You know, and confounded the wise. If, if Kevin Samuels was to come before the camp, yeah, we'll we'll agree on certain things. We'll agree for the most part because he, you know, he goes to the. But for the most part, we'll we will confound Kevin Samuels, man. Through the spirit of the most high. And all these other dudes that you think got it, they ain't got it. Because they ain't got the, the wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The Lord dealing with us, man. All right. The most high deals with the, with the uh, underdog or the lowly, the ones who you least expect. <clears throat> All right. The ones you, you, you wouldn't even think would even make, make the playoffs. <laughs> All right. They're the eighth, ninth seed. And you know, that's us. We, we looked at it as the eighth, the ninth, whatever. We in last place in the eyes of this world, but when it's all said and done, we're going to win a championship through the spirit. That's why Apostle Paul said, what, we're more, we're more than conquerors, man. And the Lord has set those crowns aside for his men, right, the elect. So I just wanted to, just, you know, read those couple of, couple of scriptures on that. It was something I just had in mind. I'm, you know, I'm up, you know, in the, in the spirit watching, you know, different videos, <clears throat> came across Kevin Samuels, and I just hit my mind, man, like, yeah, this guy, you know, he's looked at as a rich man, you know, I don't know his net worth or what he makes, but he's he's perceived as a as a man of so-called high value and got the money and, uh, you know, he's all this other bullshit, you know, and people uh, uh, last themselves to this guy, like, this guy's the, mo like, this guy's is goddamn, um, 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 Moses or some goddamn, or some goddamn body, man. All right, when the real men of the Lord are getting are getting ridiculed and, and spit on for saying the same things, you know, in particular dealing with uh, marriageable age in ancient times, man. So you, in other words, you people just got to be destroyed, man. All right, for not being fair, being wicked, and being unbalanced, man. All right. So you know, I just wanted to you know bring that out. All right, Lord Willis was an edifying um, video, giving a praise. I am glory to you. How about Shem Yahushua? Hashem Rachak Wadash. Load one into the next uh, video. Shalom.